what is intrinsic to Judaism is a value system. And I think that's something that Marcia and I shared from the moment we met, that it was important for us to carry on the values of Judaism in caring for others, tikkun olam, really trying to have a way to make a difference, not just obviously with money, but of time. Well, I grew up in Palo Alto. Back then, Gun High School was a dairy farm, and on the other side of us was a goat farm. When we were at school, my mom was off volunteering somewhere. She was a bit of a radical. She was one of the first whites to join the NAACP, and she could be found picketing all over the community, whether it was chemical plants or unfair housing. She was side by side with me protesting Vietnam War. I remember my father going off to work in the morning and saying, have a good day and please don't get arrested. <laughs> so that was my mom. My parents came from a long line of people who were committed to the community. They always did their community service in a quiet and not necessarily expectant way. So I guess we learned, you know, you do these things and you don't have expectations about what's going to happen after you do it. The gift is in the giving. To involve our children at a very early age, we created a foundation that allowed them to be on the board. So they played an active part. That's how the foundation started. In, I think it was fifth grade, I decided to try raising money to buy rainforest land and preserve it in the Amazon. And my mom was so excited that she helped us sell t-shirts and created a whole organization at my school around this idea. Going to Project Open Hand, driving meals to people, preparing meals, those are my earliest memories. And I think that was also what my parents really wanted to instill in us that giving wasn't just this obligation or a duty to hand over money to organizations. It was really about getting involved on a deeper level. We knew that there were pockets and communities in Mountain View and East Palo Alto, East Menlo, Redwood City, all along the Central Peninsula where people were still living in severely underserved lives in pretty desperate circumstances. And we said, it's important that we move forward and do something in these communities. And we have done that consistently um, from day one. After college, I decided to go into the nonprofit world first. Before I really took on the responsibility of the one giving the gifts, I wanted to be the one asking for gifts. No matter what organization I was involved with, I never felt like I was making the biggest impact I could. Food is kind of this access point of all these big issues, health, social justice, the environment, and so that's when I started getting involved in food writing. I am a professor in the biology department at Oberlin College. I have a small lab we work on trying to understand the sorts of genomic and metabolic features of ancient life forms. As a science professor who runs a research lab, I'm interested in both education and scientific research, and especially supporting students in science. And that's something that the foundation and my parents have also been very passionate about. My husband's always been really active on his own in terms of philanthropy. And so when I kind of let him into this side of our world and our family, he was beyond overjoyed at having this gift of being able to give. That brings on a whole new layer for us and raising our daughter. We decided starting with her first birthday, every birthday, we do something in the community. So right now, we're just wearing her to do it, but hopefully at some point when she's old enough, she gets to decide what that means. Because of Marsha's dad and his love oh. of banjo music, we were put in connection with Cesar Chavez School. One of his dying wishes was donate my banjos. Well, 
His oldest banjo had to go to Aaron, <laughs> but the other banjos he wanted to go to some music program, and I think he said in East Palo Alto. So we did some research and we donated these two banjos. And it was after that that they came back to us and said, you have no idea what an impact, we have no instruments. <laughs> these little things that you don't even yeah. realize the impact you're making. Sometimes they're the bigger things you, you look back on and say, that felt good. <laughs> the word philanthropy comes from the Greek, which means love of humankind. Philanthropy is about love. What touches you, what matters to you, where you can make a difference, where you can help people have a better life.